Growing up with Albany is a, it's very beautiful around here. It's like it's not too big, but it's also not too small. So you know most people around here, but not everyone. It's a really nice place. So there's no rugby in Albany other than the juniors, which is like under 10. There's only two girls in Albany that have actually played rugby. So me suddenly getting a scholarship to go play rugby, which I'd never played before, was a bit of a shock to all my friends, yeah. Georgia, she was walking at eight months old and running at nine months old and literally ran everywhere. And we used to joke because she would run on an angle. Early 2017, uh, there were three people that came down from Rugby WA. This girl, small, unassuming, but had just something in her, um, a real athlete. That just snowballed into both sevens, fifteens, and even being part of the state seventeens team, which uh, was amazing to see her just, just grow each and every time she got an opportunity. There's definitely been some extra challenges. A normal training day for Georgia would be she'd jump in the car and drive from Albany to Perth, which is roughly a four and a half hour drive, train for two hours, and then we'd pop her back in the car and drive another four and a half hours back. We've always said to her that the, the prizes on the top shelf are a little bit harder to get, but they are so worth getting uncomfortable for, um, and she's definitely that type of person. Just because I'm a young girl in a regional area doesn't mean that it has to limit me when it comes to sport or anything. Just because I am so far away doesn't mean that I can't reach the top. It takes a lot of commitment, but I think if you really give it your best shot, you can definitely get there.